Hello everyone. Today I'll be changing the front brake pads on this 2014 Toyota Sienna XLE. It's pretty much the same technique for many other cars that Toyota sells. Uh, but this is a 2014 Toyota Sienna XLE. I have these brake pads, the OEM ones from Toyota. I got these off of Amazon, but that's there. Um, as you can see, they don't come with the back plating. You you'll need to transfer them over. They do come with these uh, clips, <coughs> and uh, uh, it's good to have a, a, a cover box like this, just to collect all the dust that be fall, falling down. And um, always take proper safety precaution when working on any vehicle or using any power equipment such as but not limited to goggles, masks, gloves, knee pads always use a car jack with jack stand and also use common sense if you're not confident or unable to do something always seek professional help if you have a wheel lock like this do not use the impact wrench to remove that <coughs> use your standard <coughs> uh, lug nut wrench or something to take that off okay as you can see I put some wheel chucks under the rear wheels for safety <coughs> I'm going to jack up the car go under here and uh, you're gonna see uh, right there just before that uh, after the front cali converter that's where you put your uh, your uh, jack to lift it don't put it on that pipe the pipe will break all right put the jacks <coughs> and the jack stand uh, as you can see both sides now I'm just gonna slightly release it so you can settle on the jack stand and you want to do that slowly and what I also like to do, leave that pressure there, so you got three layers of protection. <coughs> All right, time to remove the wheels. To make your life easy, always turn the wheel out so you get better access. I'm going to use some brake cleaner just to just settle down all the dust. Alright. 
Get the brake cleaner, spray it down. Once you do that, always use some penetrating oil. Put in all the bolts that you'll be removing. You're gonna get a 70 millimeter wrench. But I'm gonna remove the bottom one first. So while I'm in this position, what I like to do is, what I'll do is I will compress the piston in, okay? And uh, take that rubber gasket off, that cover. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I do have a brake bleeder handy. and. Uh, Put that on right on top of there, secure it. You can just use a regular C clamp, not even open this valve and just have it go back into the reservoir. Now, like I said, you can use, either use a C clamp, but I have this here. Adjust it to your is way too easy to do it like this than doing it at the last okay now now what I do is once it's secure like that that uh, eight millimeter Compress it all the way, and you can see all that brake fluid come out. Do it slowly, and also in the meantime, you should watch the reservoir all the way flush. You might need to also readjust. Palette for holding clips. I'm just gonna hang it so it doesn't put too much tension on the brake line.
First and foremost, prepare everything. I'm just doing the break, so it's gonna clean. Get a wire brush. Get in. Oh, also clean all this. Can clean it off. Pull out the sliding pin. Pop that out. You want to get a clean rag and clean that off. Right? And uh, put some new one on. Good to do it so they don't seize. Same thing goes for this one. Next, I had to prepare the brake pads, I had to transfer some hardware. First and foremost, you're going to take this off. Now, the second is this plate. And they just come off. thing go at the end make it take it out of the there we go take it out Do a comparison. Here's an old one, and here's a new one. These, you can go ahead and clean them. It looks like there was some anti cease component inside. This pad is definitely worn. It uh, on the next brake job, I'll have to change these or get a set with the entire uh, hardware because uh, it's all getting rusty. All right, let's get this party going. All right, before I do, I'm gonna put some anti seats back here.
like that and on the top is where this goes so this goes like this right on there now that's ready now for the other side this back on nice and tucked in same thing for the other one use anti-seize component on the caliper to prevent and reduce noise especially around the uh, caliper where it compresses and uh, contact points Time to put the bolts on. Put 
some anti seize on the threads. Always good practice. bolts to 25 foot and that's it so make sure everything is back nothing is leaking thank you for watching if you like this video if it helped you stay even subscribe